Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm very glad you are again with me. If you want to know the latest news about cryptocurrencies, you are in the right place. Let's get down to business together with me. Bitcoin lacks momentum about $36,000 while BTC may correct lower. The price of Bitcoin continued its recovery about the $36,000 zone against the US dollar. Bitcoin began a steady rise after stopping above the $34,000 level. The price even moved above 36,500 resistance. It traded at 36,698 and is now correcting profits. There has been a breakout below the 36,500 and 36,000 levels. It even traded below the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement level of the uptrend from a swing low of 33,939 to a of 36,698. Bitcoin is still trading well above 35,000 and the 100 hour simple moving average. There is also a major bullish trend line forming on the hourly chart of the BTC USD pair with support of around 35,700. Ethereum corrects decline, which could spark a new rally. Ethereum continued to rise to $2,250 before facing sellers against the US dollar. Ethereum remained well above the $2,000 support zone and continued to move up. There was also a break below the bullish trend connecting line with support around $2,160 on the EDH USD hourly chart. The pair is now testing the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement level of the uptrend from a swing low of $1,716 to a high of $2,241. The next major support is near the $2,070 level followed by the 100-hour SMA. A major bullish trend is also forming with support around 175 on the same chart. The trend line is close to the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the uptrend from the low of 1,716 swing to the high of 2,241. Biggest Bitcoin dump with $3.45 billion in net loses by short pump holders. Last week, short-term holders made the largest Bitcoin liquidation with a net loss of nearly $3.5 billion. Glassnode's team of experts shared that last week the largest Bitcoin capitulation in history came from short-term holders. The net loss suffered by the network was a steady $3.45 billion. The Glassnode team notes that this Bitcoin was purchased at a higher price than that was sold for. As for long-term holders, Glassnode shows that they are in profit and only suffered a net loss of about $383 million. Coinbase launched high-yield USDC product targeting fintech offering. Coinbase has announced a new product that could set it apart from its financial technology competitors in the low interest rate world. The publicly traded cryptocurrency exchange unveiled a new saving accounts like product on Tuesday, June 29th, that allows users to earn a 4% annual percentage yield by lending in US dollars. Coinbase's high yield alternative to traditional savings accounts offers 4% APY on your US dollar coin, stablecoin, which can always be exchanged individually for $1. The company said in a statement This means that when you lend your USDC, to Coinbase, you can earn eight times more than the national average in high yield saving accounts. Ethereum wallet activity surpasses Bitcoin for the first time. Cryptometrics platform Sentiment claims that Ethereum has briefly surpassed Bitcoin in terms of user activity. Total address activity on the Ethereum blockchain surpassed Bitcoin activity on Monday, June 28th, the first time in history of digital assets according to Cryptometrics company sentiment. The metric in question reflects the total number of active, unique addresses that had transactions in a 24-hour period. According to Sentiment's chart, approximately 651,560 wallets were involved in various activities on the Ethereum blockchain versus 597,280. Bitcoin wallets. Binance suspends dispersal in the UK, raising suspicions of cryptocurrency crackdown. UK users of Binance are reporting suspended withdrawals of fiat money and deposits on the cryptocurrency exchange. 
Attempts to turn on and off the ramp show that the service is suspended for maintenance. This comes after the Financial Conduct Authority published an article over the weekend warning consumers about Binance Markets Limited and Binance Group. Given the close series of these two events, social media is flooded with talk that the suspension is more than just a temporary maintenance issue. Neither Binance nor its payment processing partners have commented on the issue, prompting rumors of a crackdown on cryptocurrencies. Mexico stops big banks plan to offer Bitcoin services. The CEO of Banco Azteca tweeted that he wanted to offer Bitcoin services in Mexico, but a tweet from the country's regulators essentially killed his dream. The Mexican government doesn't seem interested in becoming the next Bitcoin nation and doesn't want its private banks to go down that path. Arutro Herrera Gutierrez, Minister of Finance and Public Credit of the Mexican government, shared on his Twitter account an official statement from the country's central bank, Ministry of Finance and National Banking and Securities Commission, the Mexican equivalent of the SEC in the United States. It said virtual assets are not considered money under current law and that banks are are not allowed to handle cryptocurrencies in any way. CoinMarketCap launched token exchange feature that uses Uniswap. Binance-owned cryptocurrency market data aggregator CoinMarketCap has launched a new token exchange feature on its website. The feature initially supports the leading non-custodial cryptocurrency exchange Uniswap and the Ethereum blockchain, which means that CoinMarketCap users can exchange Ethereum-based tokens through Uniswap. Some of the supported tokens include Ather, Uniswap, Tether, Day, Aave, and others. This feature is enabled on CoinMarketCap website itself, which is one of the most visited portals in the world in the finance category. According to similar web, CoinMarketCap was visited by more than 270 million visitors last month. Cardano-based data platform IAGON raises $3.4 million. First trade venture capital firms have participated in the initial funding round for the big data pioneer Cardano. According to a press release, IGON's Norwegian team tasked with blockchain-based data storage has completed its initial round of funding. A total of $3,400,000 was raised from major league venture capitalists. The latest round was led by Ledger Link Labs and Blockchain Israel, AU21 Capital, Kirin Fund, Coins Group, Singe Block, Panini, X21, GenBlock, Alphabet, Lanchpool, JBV Capital, Trustado Network, Faculty Group, Lamas, BH Investments, Next Shimia Consulting, and others also contributed. With the proceeds, the IGON team will help deploy a scalable platform for decentralized storage. IGON's mechanism already worked on Ethereum, and the release of Cardano is the next step in its development. Morgan Stanley Fund owns more than 28,000 shares of GBDC. Morgan Stanley's European Union Opportunity Fund has acquired more than 28,000 shares of the Bitcoin Trust Grayscale product. The fund, which seeks access to many European companies as well as other assets, owned 28,289 shares of GBTC, or about $1.3 million at the time of the filling. The distribution follows an April filling by Morgan Stanley, showing that the firm gave the green light to certain funds, including the European Opportunity Fund, the firm's Institutional Fund, and the Insight Fund to access Bitcoin indirectly. According to this documentation, each fund can invest up to 25% of its total asset in Bitcoin-related products. So guys, thank you for your attention. These are all news for today. I hope you will subscribe to our channel. Wish you a great day and hope to see you again with us. Bye!